What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today, we're continuing with our Elden Ring playthrough series. Um, where I'm just working my way through the game. I really love this armor set. It's so cool looking, but it gives us a lot of protection, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like we're, we're basically just kind of exploring. Um, you know, what, whatever kind of seems fun in the moment. I've been thinking about changing up my armor for a while. What's up, Bevo? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. What's up, AK? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Hell yeah, my character looks awesome right now. I don't know if this giant cape's a little bit distracted or what. Let's see how we get on. It looks so cool, right? Like, I still think the best armor set that I actually have is basically what I started with. Nah, that was shit. But it's kind of nice to look cool. I'll just put the best helmet I have and the best boots I have on. I don't want to fat roll. Which is when you're too heavy to do a quick roll. You know, that doesn't know. And then we just wear like this cool lightweight chest piece. It does look so sick. What's up, PK? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. I'm great, thanks. Thanks for asking. And today we're going to try and figure out how to progress some more in Elden Ring. And um, see how far we get for a while. A few hours or something. And then... We're going to be... Um... Continuing on with our Valheim Mountain Caves playthrough of which we are getting towards the end of now So that's what we're going to do today Have you finished the speed run on this yet? No No There's only a couple of people that have actually finished a successful speedrun of this game so far, but it's it, it's very, very, very far from being worked out. It's the runs that exist right now. You know, it's like very unoptimized and stuff. 
but um, I'm paying attention to it and uh, very soon. I have started to practice some speedrun stuff for the game. I forgot to put my lights on again. What's that? I have start to, started to uh, practice some speedrun stuff for the game. Um... But yeah, I've just been streaming a bunch, like... What I'm going to do soon... Is, uh, slightly... Reduce... Um... The hours... That... I'm streaming for... Just whilst I... Figure out a speedrun route that I want to do to start streaming runs, and then I'll start streaming runs. But it shouldn't take me too long to figure out, Jack. To just get started, at least it ain't. It, it ain't. It's not like it's not gonna be the best shit ever right out the gate, of course, because it's still gonna probably take a month or two, honestly. For the run to start to really take shape that'll be closer to its actual final form pretty much everyone's runs are probably going to be constantly changing for, for a couple of months till that point but but i will very soon as in some point within the next week start working on it off stream as for when i start doing speed on streams um, I can't really tell anyone that I just because I just don't know it. It's going to totally depend on how well speedrun practice goes. But you know, you guys have probably noticed. You know, I've been streaming for what between like eight to twelve hours a day, a lot recently. Um, it's not possible to work out the speedrun and stream for that many hours. It's just not enough hours in the day do that and also get sleep and also work on videos um so at some point i'll just have to slightly reduce my stream hours like maybe we just do valheim oh we missed this chest we need to explore this area a bit better chat because we definitely missed some stuff um We'll probably go back to doing the Valheim world record speedrun grinds. And and like I, before or after the stream, I, I'll spend a few hours at least a day on working on the speedrun. I'll have to start doing that soon, but just a few other things I want to do first. And um, it's like I said, it's gonna be a while um, until but this game is really big and crazy, as you guys probably noticed. So it's gonna take a little while for the speedrun community to really figure it out. But I've started figuring out some stuff. I've obviously done some runs for the first boss. We will do another stream where we run the first boss again. Pretty soon. Um, um, but yeah. As for like any percent runs, it's not really. Uh, I haven't started those runs yet. But I've been doing a lot of research. I have a pretty good idea as to how I would do it. But it's just not quite there yet. But we'll see how it goes. Like, if I start the practice and I feel like the practice would actually make a good stream, that, then uh, 
I might stream the practice, but I just the thing is like just as a, a not as as the speedrunner, but as just a human, you know, human being that likes video games. I um, I would like to play this game normally for at least one playthrough. And, um, you know, doing that, if you do a lot of exploration and stuff, like, it obviously take a very long time. There's, there's tons of content. I believe there's something in the ballpark of 80 bosses. Like, and I think there's pro legitimately, you know, a little more than maybe 10-ish that are actually compulsory. <laughs> like oh it's so much of the optional stuff has been the best content so far just i would like to enjoy the release period of the game as a, a normal person a little bit but but it we're not gonna this casual playthrough i can't tell you exactly how much longer we're gonna be working on it but you know it's not like it's obviously not gonna last forever it, w it won't take us that long to be done with this. But it could be another week or so before you see me doing like any percent speedrun attempts of this game. Just need a bit of time to do some other things. Thanks for stopping by the stream, Man of War. I hope you're doing good, dude. What's up, Pistachio? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, just to put things into context, guys. Um, there's all, uh, Last time I checked... I can't remember when actually the last time I checked was, but it might have been yesterday. Like, I think there was actually... Oh, hang on. We don't want to lose all these souls. I think there was like one... Sort of... Like... I don't even know how to put this. But one, one video... That... Um, is kind of like I guess an actual speedrun attempt on YouTube so far hell yeah what's up Sarah thanks for stopping by one in space cookies thanks for stopping by the stream hope you're doing good dude we're pretty close, close to being on to level up right here so let's do that So yeah, like, there's tons, like dozens of speedrunners work, like working on this speedrun for hours every single day right now. Just trying to figure it out. And there's one real speedrun video that honestly, the guy's run, he, he, he tries to do, he, he's doing it like, where he doesn't die and it's a good it is a good run but you can even tell watching this run that there's a lot of unnecessary stuff in it it's a fantastic run though you should guys go watch it the guy does deserves a lot of respect he's he's made more progress than most people i can tell um but like other than that like yeah i think like hayes did like a new game plus video or something but you know there's no, there's no like legit runs yet. Can't wait for the first new god run. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be so cool. Um, 
But the difference between me and like a lot of these other runners that are like there's a lot of big runners just grinding the game trying to figure it out like I also make Valheim content and, I, and I'm also like a YouTuber and, and a lot of them don't make like proper YouTube videos. They just upload VODs. So like I'm a little busy. Busier than, than they are, if that makes sense. But I plan to have one of the first any percent runs on YouTube. So uh, don't worry, chat. I know, I know, I know. Everyone's excited. They really, they want my runs like yesterday, which I really appreciate that because that's really nice that people are so excited about the Elden Ring runs. I, I know you guys want it like yesterday, <laughs> but we'll trust me. We're going to have one of the first eighty percent runs on YouTube. We will. We will. I'm working on it. Thanks, Pistachio. I appreciate that. Wait, did we check this room? Yeah, we did check this room, didn't we? But the thing is, guys, any run done before March 18th is completely unofficial, just so you know. Leaderboards don't open until March 18th. So we don't we don't have official rules, official timing. Um official leaderboards, you know. Moderators like you know, it, none of it is going to be verifiable until March 18th anyway, so You know, we could be rushing, but it all could change by March 18th, so I'm just having a good time with the content we're doing right now. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, Neem Pasta. I appreciate that. We're just grinding a few... Uh, Oh, huh. I wonder if we can actually play this horn like an instrument. Like I will say, like I think I can, I can beat the current time of the, the well, the current speed run that's on there. Uh, on YouTube, but you know, I don't know yet. Well, beating people's time doesn't really matter right now. There's no leaderboard. <laughs> so. If there's no leaderboard, there's no video or, you know, like. It basically never didn't happen. <laughs> and we'll just be running. I appreciate that, Pistachio. Yeah, let's clear all these enemies and then see what we can do with this horn. This guy is really the guy I'm here to grind the souls for. Should just run straight to him, really. It's like 3,000 souls or something. I think I'm just going to go for dex now. I think, like, I think we have enough HP. To be honest, it could be fine. 
We're going to use a rune arc as well, right? So, might as well just do more damage. Right. Um, let's see what this horn does. It requires... 16 faith. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't. I wonder if you have enough faith it actually works. <laughs> it makes like a funny sound. I was thinking about using that weapon to break someone's guard, but not worth it. I just want to test something for a sec, chat. Uh, let me boost my rune generation and see how much runes we're not getting just from doing this one little thing. Hmm. Oh shit, I forgot the golden feet get deleted when you the effect wears off when you fast travel. Forgot about that. This is like a pretty good way to grind souls, honestly. What's up dynamics? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Replace this one instead. Dude, let's just level up a bit. I mean, holy shit, this is like in a few minutes. <laughs> We're gonna be like way more powerful if we do this. That's 500. This is a fun, like, little grind. It's not really even that cheesy, is it? It's, this is straight up rune grinding. You don't even have to really cheese anything. Like, when you get to an area, guys, and you realize that just doing such a small portion of it grants you enough runes 
to be able to level up easily it means that you probably should do that and level up that essentially means that you know that area is a higher level yeah that combo on the katana is awesome it's actually the weapon art that I've uh, put on it that makes it do that is actually uh, the scimitar weapon art. But we found the Ash of War for it to put it on any weapon. So it does more hits. Let's put this in slot one just to not confuse things. Um, so when you fast travel, the the so I'm just gonna quickly explain what I'm actually doing here. It's probably not too obvious. Um, so there's a, a crafting recipe in the game that you unlock when you meet a certain character. That gives you the recipe for a certain item that when you use it, it activates a buff that lasts a certain period of time. And what that buff does is temporarily increase the amount of runes that you gain from killing an enemy by a certain percentage. Then I have a talisman, right? See, they've, it's worn off now. That's why I'm not glowing gold. So we'll stop and use one real quick. Then I'm using a talisman, which is basically like a necklace, essentially. That does the same thing. That, but that is permanent. It permanently, while well, whilst you're wearing it, you get more runes from killing enemies while you're wearing it. And if you do the two things together, you essentially increase the amount of runes that you get for killing enemies by more than 50%. And this area, you get like a few thousand for killing this big guy that sat there spitting fire alone. And he's really easy to kill. And you just come up behind him like this. So I'm combining all those three things. It being an easy area to farm. And that using those items. To increase our, our rune income. And right and that my character is a high level character, guys. We're level 64. And who's needed for me to level up right now? It's over 24,000. But look, just for one trip, 18,000 already. So now we head back. Resting at this side of grace will cause them all to respawn again. And it will refill all of our flasks. And we just rinse and repeat. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's... There's, all, all, in all of the Souls games, there's always several little ways that are effective and fast ways to get, like, a lot of runes or a lot of souls quickly. It, it's good to learn a few. Or if you can figure out a few of your own. You know, you, it's something you can watch videos about, and people make great videos about it. Um, But, you know... It's kind of fun to just do figure like like this. Like this is completely improvised, right? I didn't watch a video to do this, so I just realized like, oh, we actually get a lot of souls here, and it's easy. So we just made it up a little room grinding spot, and it can be fun to just do that. Just experiment yourself with your own ideas for room grinding, because sometimes it can get a bit tedious farming the same spot over and over again that some guy recommends on YouTube.
I just realized we should probably go in here because this guy gives a decent amount of souls too. Yeah, 50% is very generous for a game like this. Exactly. That's why it's so clutch to, you know, figure those out. I mean, it, honestly, there's a lot of videos on that subject, but I might make, make one as well. I might make a video about it as well because you know it's it's uh extremely helpful Sort of out of FP there, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, so that's two trips, and we got enough to level up. What? More than enough. So, yeah, we want to really check. On this stat screen, right? When you level up. So that increases us from 288 to 290. Yeah, this doesn't even increase shit. I thought that would be the case, of course. I was curious if it had any impact to doing strength. Oh, it's an actually an E attribute scaling for strength. It's basically never going to do anything in upgrading strength. But it is a dex weapon. The only reason I was looking at that is because uh, so our items wore off, so we're going to use one again. The only reason I was even looking at that is because uh, You know, there's, there is some other weapons we could mess around with just for fun if we wanted to, if we can level up our strength as well, if it was worth it. But at this point, I don't think it's ever going to be worth it for this character. We're, we're really deeply invested into to dex and, and HP by this point. <laughs> and our stamina is so big anyway, because we've got a flask of physic that buffs our stamina and a necklace that buffs our stamina. So combined with a rune arc. Which we'll try and save for boss fights really, but we don't really need more stamina than this. There was a while where I was I was doubting my idea for how I wanted this character to turn out. And I gotta say it worked out in the end. I'm super happy with it. <laughs> Ow. One, one trip there from what we had left over from the last one. How many more of these items do we even have? Two. I think we should just do this until we're out of them. We can make some more at a later, later 
point. Yeah, the, the combat and stuff in this game is just... Fluid is kind of like a pretty good way to describe it, actually. Oh, we actually didn't level up there. Ah, whatever. Just don't die. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference if you level up now or afterwards. Activated. Perfumer's Bolt. That's a Perfumer. Okay. Weird jump. Remember guys, like, the, the, the first two demigods, like, not first two bosses, but the first two demigods in the game, like, the first two, like, sort of main area bosses that you beat. Their souls give you 20,000. We basically got almost 50,000 in like seconds there. So this is like... This is big. Something really cool about this setup that I have with this character, with that that move set on this sword, is that even when I'm out of FP, so when when I run out of FP, right, the combo still works. It just does a lot less damage. But the thing is, the sword also deals bleed as well, and bleed doesn't care about damage. Bleed is just about the amount of hits and after a certain amount of hits the enemy will lose a certain percentage of HP so even when I run out of FP this combo is still really good because it's still quite a lot of hits in a small period of time and the AOE on it is massive 
All right, we've only got one uh, gold pickled foul foot left. So we'll do this a couple more times. Oh yeah, I remembered to shave my head in case anyone is wondering what the hell's going on. I've been saying for the last like few days like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to shave my head before the stream, but I keep forgetting. And I remembered. I'm feeling much more comfortable. Some I always shave my head. But sometimes I'll leave it a while before I do it. And sometimes people in the chat start freaking out. Like, oh my god, what happened? That was the last one, right? Yeah. This might be our last run for this. I don't know how much long we, longer we have left, but we're not quite there. I need to level up. It looks like it's fading. We need, only need 6,000 more. I don't know that the effect, visual effect reduces as it starts to wear off, but it kind of looks like it does, which is really cool. I don't know if I'm just imagining that. Yeah, it totally does. That's so cool. Like, it's gone now, but... I assume what we will n not have that we need is uh, golden fireflies. But we don't need to do this. This wasn't necessary. It's just doesn't take a lot of time to do. And we'll just make life easier. I mean, obviously. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? That guy's light on his feet. It obviously just makes life a little bit easier for us, like dealing a little bit more damage. It will make a difference on the next boss fight, so. Might as well just do it.
Ow. What happens when you touch the blood stain? Um, it shows you how a player died here. There you go. You can actually fast travel now because we're out of pickled feet anyway. Which, by the way, pickled foul feet sound absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh... Oh, it is actually feet that we need. We wanted to do more of them, but we don't need to. Yeah, the real players, yeah. So, all the, every, the whole Souls franchise does this really cool thing. Um, I've just remembered something to check. I think we need one more of those to upgrade the sword one more time. That'd be something good to find. But all these games do something really cool. Where you know, even though even when you're playing single player, um the world is still shared with other players to some extent. So these messages that you see on the ground, these are actually written by other players. And the idea is, is kind of like as if all the other players, oh damn, are ghosts, you know, of people, of, of previous people on the same adventure. Uh, yeah, there is actually competitive multiplayer as well. Can you there you can straight up just fight people one v one? Um But yeah, and, and then like if you activate certain shrines you actually uh, this looks interesting down here. What what's down here? Um you can actually summon other players as well. Oh, see, and that, look, that's the ghost of another player. Like, that's a guy that's actually standing there and doing that right now. Uh, but yeah, you can summon the, the spirits of other players to help you as well do boss fights. If you want. And, uh, you know, the spirits of other players can also invade you as well. Try and kill you in certain scenarios. But in this game, I think... You either have to basically do a specific action to allow people to invade you, or I think when when you co-op this game, I think uh, invasions are on automatically. So they, I think the idea was with this specific game to not have people sort of troll single player players by spamming invasions because that used to be a thing yeah it's it, it's real so though that ghost that we randomly saw that was real time um there'll be a slight delay with wood stains aren't necessarily told that's not real time that is a, a, a sort of snapshot of the past if you get me um Messages, I think, there's essentially random instances the game chooses from. Oh god, I wonder what the hell that was there. What could possibly go wrong down here?
Roasted chicken feet is yummy. I'm sure it is. What about pickled though? Yeah, blue means online, yeah. Oh god. I knew these things would be fucking dropping out of you. They're so creepy. These hand enemies, they always have just randomly jumping out at you. Oh my god, dude. This looks like a trap. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh oh. That's not a time to be drawing a bow. What the fuck do you even do with these guys? Never really figured these guys out. Maybe you actually jump over them or something. Yeah, I'm dead, I think. Oh, he's low health, actually. Kind of did flip me off. That was interesting. I, I thought I wasn't dealing a lot of damage, but I actually was. Now I have to remember how I got there. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we found it. <laughs> that was a little bit too far. We dropped down. <laughs> it is nice of him to give us a hand. Up. We have to kill this hand, don't we? Play a goddamn hand. Is there a way to get rid of this little one that snuck up on us? Because. Oh, God. It's the constant palsing that this fucks you. No! That's so creepy. It actually restrains you. That's actually what it does. Uh, you know, I'm actually forgetting something, chat. We still have this on. We don't need it. Ow. Can we not, please? So creepy looking. Oh, he actually dropped a somber smithing stone. Plus ashes of war. Those will let you duplicate ashes of war. So 
I've not needed to do that yet, but that's a very useful item to find. That's awesome to hear, Jesse. Glad you've been enjoying it, dude. Actually, I didn't anticipate people buying the game from watching me stream it. That's actually really cool. Um, so you can you can play the game offline you go to settings system and then it's the second to last no wait where is it the middle tab where it says launch setting you say set that to play offline and then uh, you know go return to the main menu and continue and then you'll be offline the second one i wish to quit the game properly without logging back in you just mean like when you quit to the main menu you have to wait before you can quit the game is that what you mean if that is really a concern then all i would really say is uh You won't learn what you won't lose much progress just by alt f4 in the game does constantly auto save might lose a few seconds or something but it should be fine oh do it at your own risk of course i would maybe just try it before you do a load of stuff but you, sh you shouldn't lose more than a few seconds just by alt f4 and if you want to qu quit the game quickly because it usually they do auto save all the time these games because the sort of, you know, yeah, kind of work in an unusual way like that. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. Crossed my mind a couple of times, too. Yeah, I would just try all a foreign and see how much progress you lose because I bet it sometimes you probably lose lose no progress. Other times, it, it, but at most, I bet you only lose a few seconds. So like, as long as you actually did return to a site of grace before you did it, I bet it's fine a hundred percent of the time. That would be my guess. Oh, we found somewhere new. That's how it, that's like how it was with other Souls games. So that's why I'm saying that. Oh, okay. I think this is related to the NPC at the round table. Yeah, that's right, yeah. about to say this guy doesn't get staggered from our attacks but guess what he does
Whoa. <laughs> That's a pretty cool mask. Okay, Fashion Souls time. That's what they call it in the Souls franchise. You're just concerned about what your character looks like. Ooh, those Lionel's boots. Oh, yeah, I just realized. Is that... Am I fat rolling or am I not fat rolling? I'm definitely on my way to fat rolling there. I just realized, yeah, we did just find a full suit of armor, didn't we? Bro. <laughs> I wonder, chat. Oh my god, that's me trying to roll now. We found the first powerful set of armor that we've found in our playthrough so far. <laughs> and look at it. But yeah, we can't play like this. But then we I have a talisman that does increase. Uh maximum load. Oh. It became American. <laughs> like, I wonder... Like, our armor value will just be thick if we can get away with wearing any of this. It looks kind of weird, like, clipping through. This robe, but, yeah, I don't know. It's still a little bit heavy for my tastes. that we have a pretty fast roll so this should be a good balance between us being lightweight and having better armor honestly it's not going to make that much of a difference but that's actually a pretty fast roll well let me see how much it goes down and I do this Question is, is it worth it? I'm actually still wearing his gauntlets here as well.
Oh, hell yeah. We got a fast... Like, this helmet, I think, looks so cool. And these robes look so cool. That is costy. Thanks for by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. Right, and I still get to wear the runes that I like to wear. So I think that's... That's a good change. I love this robe and I love this helmet. So. Oh, I love it, Costi. It's one of my favorite games ever. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. <laughs> Sight optional. That's true. Right, before I forget, let's go back to the round table. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I have a feeling we just found the dress of this woman in the bedroom. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Then good day to you. Do I have to let her hold me in order? I am. Would you like me? Now. Yes. Come. You see, this does reduce your HP by a tiny bit. But I think it is temporary. You are so. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Oh. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to fit a very... Okay. Then good day to you. I never know if this buff is really worth it. It reduces our HP by a certain amount. I think it's like 5% or something like that. It can't be 5% actually. It must be less than that. But then it increases our poise. Honestly, it could be worth it with the amount of HP we have now. Well, I took you from that match. Yeah, we, we need one more level five smithing stone. I was kind of hoping that this dagger was going to be something we could use, but <laughs> it costs a, it's a key item, so it is not. Where were we just? Yeah, I think this game is, uh, yeah, it is perfect for me. Um, and I think the only reason the viewership of my streams is actually down 
isn't because I'm playing Elder Ring. It's because I'm doing casual gameplay and not speedrunning. Because I did a speedrun stream. And the numbers were pretty good. When we speedrun doing the first boss. But my, my YouTube video views are actually way up. Since doing this game and Valheim. So... It's going to be, if everything is going to plan is what I'm trying to say. And I'm very happy to say that. So sticking to the plans of doing both games, speed running both games, doing challenge runs for both games. It's going to be epic. Oh yeah, it actually, it actually already has, Costi. It already has. My first Elden Ring video that I've made is 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 actually on pace to to get more views than any of my other videos so far. Holy shit! What the fuck is this? Kill it, whatever it is. I pressed that's the wrong thing. I know what enemy this is actually. We met this in a dungeon and never beat it. Pretty gross looking when you see it up close. What is that? What is even happening when it does that? It's so bizarre. I missed him. I can't get close enough now, I can't do that attack. Well, I can do it, but it won't do as much damage. Maybe it is actually just worth doing, just to try, actually, because of the reach. Uh, I'll let go of block for a second. Uh-oh. Oh, what? How? The collision on this guy is yikes. There we go. When all else fails. Oh, we got a golden seed for that. That's sick. That lets all of our flasks. When all else fails, just do trusty R1 attacks. <laughs> That's big advice as well with this game. Any Souls game. Yeah, you could try and be get fancy, try and be clever with 
parries or hard attacks. Like sometimes just R1 is all you need. The child of Yugoth and Abomination. I actually kind of looks like it. Extremely gross, not gonna lie. Oh, I didn't even use my flask of physic. Could have had more stamina. That was a ghost of someone checking if that was actually a hidden path because of a note, which is pretty funny, and we could see the note. Yeah, yeah, I watched it, Jesse. It's really good. Like, I'll probably try and replicate what that guy did a little bit to start out. It is actually a really good video. I mean, it's just raw gameplay, but it is actually really cool what the guy did to do that. And it's interesting because you can tell that a lot of what he did wasn't essential, so. It means it can definitely be done faster. You do lose stuff, so you see the number in the bottom right is the amount of... I'm trying to figure out how we actually get to that item there, chat. The, the number in the bottom right is how many runes we're carrying. And runes, you use to level up and buy stuff and upgrade stuff. They're sort of the currency and the XP of the game. Um, and when you die, you drop them on the floor. Sort of Valheim style, and you have to go and collect them. The only difference is, though, between this and Valheim, is that if you die a second time before you collect them, you lose them forever. Now you also get returned to a, a checkpoint, which checkpoints are called Sites of Grace. And you have to basically walk up and sort of activate a Site of Grace to use it. So depending on whether or not you've managed to go and activate a Site of Grace, when you die, you might, you might actually be set back quite a bit or quite a little. It, it kind of depends. And this game added new things called Shrines of Marikas. And there's a there's a different type of place that you can be respawned at as well. Uh, it's, it's just like another sort of checkpoint. Um, but it's a slightly different in that it has none of the facilities of a Site of Grace. We're out of plastic here, so we got to be careful. So these guys are undead. The undead people. You have to summon... Yeah, you have to kill them twice. Undead stuff. Um... But once when they're on the floor like that but oh a swordstone key those open secret passages i'm 
hoping we find a sight of grace because oh dear Yeah, this attack is just always worth me doing because of my bleed effect and it's just the collision on it is just insane so good like we're doing nowhere near as much damage when i when i'm out of fp but it's still really good because of the bleed of the weapon that i have oh god all right come on let, let's have it then Oh dear. I didn't realize the uh Yeah, if they're throwing those lightning bombs it could be a problem. Um, it, it's actually t every, every secret passage thing is completely unique. So you never know what it's going to lead to. What's the best way to do this? I'm wondering. We could just run in. But it, if we get one of those thrown at us, it ain't going to go very well. Here we go. Oh, Poggy, Man of War, thanks so much for the super chat, you legend. Road trip yesterday put me way behind. Still got <laughs> that first Frost Cave stream to catch up on. So much great stuff. Cheers, brother. Beer mugs. Oh, thanks so much, mate. Thanks so much for the $6.65 super chat, you legend. Thanks so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. Cheers, dude. You really appreciate that. Thanks for checking out the content. Hope uh, the road trip went well. Come on, dude. This is a weird angle for this throwing throwing knives. How many were left with up there now? It might be time to YOLO. No! No! Now we got one. No! No! Oh, we did. We actually took a hit. We can't apparently. Alright. We're good, I think. Oh, the other guy's running on. All in the controls, all in the control. Where the hell is the next sign of grace? God damn it. Oh. Um. Let's see what this board stain did. Kind of sus. Nah, we're good. Oh, it's another soul stone key. All right. Well, that is actually a pretty good find.
Thanks again so much for the super chat, man. I will appreciate that, bud. Is 665 a number of some significance to you? By the way, there were lattes. Was there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they were saying it was his name and it's the amount he donated. So I'm curious. There's some other significance. Oh, it's a shortcut. That's all. All right. Well, yeah, that, that means that there is, there's a site of grace here then that you use this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we could actually just start grading something for the memes at this point level wise we, we really don't need to level up anymore i don't think oh my god we're level 69 chat's favorite what the hell is going on with this camera angle Yikes. It seems like this is all just this random optional stuff, don't it? I think where we need to go was that place with all the knights that we found. Tried to make Man of War 666 many years ago. The whole neighbor of the beast joke came about and it kind of became a force of habit in Super Chats. <laughs> Man of War, Man of War 666 as a screen name was taken. That's hilarious. <laughs> I like it. That's cool. Thanks again, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, we need to, we should need to get back to that like walkway that was filled with knights. I feel like I feel like that's actually where we go. Oh, this isn't the place. Oh, you know what I forgot? To see if we have enough seeds to add a charge yet. Not enough. How many seeds do we actually have?
Two. Ah, oh, yeah, we're probably gonna need a couple more, I'm guessing. Oh, that's that area. I think that's the area we're talking about. Right? No? Yes? No? I can't tell. Ow. Cane sword, eh? I think we already did this bit. Did all this, but oh, hang on. Was it maybe through this way? What I'm talking about. Wait, this was just a big elevator thing, wasn't it? Oh, shit. I rolled off the elevator. Oh yeah, this was just this. What's up, Meatball? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. Thanks, bud. So many blood stains of people trying to figure out what to do. It actually kind of does look like you can go around the edge. But it's probably not a thing, judging by all the blood stains. Um, you know what I'm starting to, th I do want to find, I do want to find this place I'm talking about and check it, but I actually think it's possible we're going the right way, but we might need to go and do a boss in the other area first or something. 
You know what I mean? This isn't the spot, dude. Like, if, if we can't find where to go, like, it seems like that door is where you go. It just, we just need to do something to open it. But like, if we don't find any, anything else that seems like it has potential. Oh, I think I remember where this other place was. Yeah, if we don't find anywhere else that has potential, then, uh, I'm just going to go to the red zone on the map. That we've not really done that much in, if anything. Um, and see if there's a boss, like a, a big boss to kill there. And see if that changes stuff. This is the spot. Oh, shit. Oh, I accidentally had the wrong shield on. Brutal. Yeah, now it's all falling apart. And I, and I had the wrong sword on. Yikes. If I have it the wrong shield on, pressing the button to do my little spinny attack with the katana, just parries instead. <laughs> Yeah, great bows are sick. I've actually never used one myself in a Souls game, but they are sick. Oh, I went the wrong fucking way again. Where's this archer? I can't even see him, dude. I'm trying to actually save my FP for more difficult enemies. We just have every enemy in the book coming at us right now. Interesting. His guard couldn't really be broken at that time when he was doing that attack.
Like, who the fuck is actually shooting me? I just want to draw this big dude out whilst we've got FP. I have to actually rely on the uh, other attacks chat. Imagine that. Oh, this armor. It's actually a combination of different armors. It's, it's a helmet from a big crazy fat set of armor. Then a really cool like wizard's robe. Where the fuck is this? Does that look basically the same to you, chat? I think it is, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. I love how covered in blood we are. That's something they brought over from Bloodborne. <laughs> this looks nuts. Yeah, I'm happy with how our character looks right now. He, he looks sick, doesn't he? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Smithing Stone 4. Isn't it a Smithing Stone 5 that we're looking for still? Yeah, we still need one more, dude. We need one more Smithing Stone 5 so we can upgrade our katana to the next stage. Need is really a strong word because, like I said, we're, we're more than powerful enough to do the game at this point, but...
Так. I remember us dropping down there. I know this is where the tree avatar shows up. Oh, that's this side of Grace. Honestly, at this point in the game, I don't know if we... I don't know. I'll just level up. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I don't know if we maybe even... Lev bother leveling anything other than decks, but I guess we could. Like we're right, we're not near the end to be clear. Not really. Oh, we got a Swiss stone level five. Yeah, higher damage is always satisfying. It's always useful. Um, I really want to do a playthrough though, where we. Oh, that, that was a rune arc that it dropped. Holy shit. Makes sense. The reason it makes sense is because rune arcs, they're not really, they don't really do the same thing that humanity does. From Humanity is an item from previous Souls games that using it would restore your health and increase your humanity counter. And if you had a humanity counter of one or above, you could t return to be, being human. Um, it boosts some other things too, like item discovery and stuff like that. But like, like the higher your counter is. But rune arcs seem to behave the same way. Not, well, they don't. That's not the wrong thing. Rune arcs are completely well, different to humanity, but well, in a way, you kind of get the vibe that rune arcs are the equ elder ring equivalent of humanity. If that makes sense. Um, and uh, rats always had a high, higher, high drop rate, or or at least a chance of dropping humanity in the Souls games. So weird, like it was like a weird quirk. So it's actually kind of funny that they've done the same thing with uh, Runox. So that that's actually good to know. Now we need to find six of them. The only way we find six. Level five.
uh, smithing stones, I think, is if we just... That there has to be a a mine, doesn't there, that is a high enough level to have level fives. That there has to be. Yeah, that's true. It is sort of like as just a reference in a way to Souls games, uh, Dark Souls. Now it did kind of feel like it's it was started to kind of venture onto a slightly different path just then. I accidentally queued up another attack, so I was gonna miss the critical. So I tried to do it in a to change the direction of it at the last minute to see if it gave me enough time to get the crit, but it wasn't. Oh! This could be a reason to level strength. He just dropped his great bow. We're literally just talking about this. That could be a fun reason. The level strength. <laughs> nice. Yeah, maybe we do level strength. I was thinking strength or arcane, because I think arcane is for dragon sorceries, right? God Slayer. Wait, do Oh. We should actually go and investigate some of those churches that sell the dragon incantations. The, I think they're called bestial ones. Because it's a totally new thing to the game. It's Welder Ring that we haven't even touched. We did, uh, we did come this way. <laughs> it's going to take a minute to admire how sick our character actually looks. This bit, of course. Hmm. 
Wait, hang on. I think we did this too, but let's... Oh, we definitely didn't go this way. Oh, okay, right. I don't think we've been here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think we have. Yeah, they seem like a really cool addition. What the fuck is this dude? He looks pretty badass. No match for the our spinny attack though. No one is, bro. Ritual shield talisman. Defense raises defense when HP is at maximum. Nah, I don't care about that, that too much. Night. Oh my god, I wonder if it opens when you night time. Oh look. We see a fog gate. Guys, I have a problem. I got the Moon Veil Katana and there is no magic skill for it, even though I max intelligence and faith. What can I do? I'm not sure about that specific weapon. But. Um. I don't know if you have you tried messing with ashes of war for it to get down there somehow.
Oh god. Finally figured this out. Oh, Smith and Stone 6. Nice. Why do I have a horrible feeling I'm going to get knocked off this thing? Yeah, okay. These aren't difficult enemies to kill or anything, but we just gotta be careful we don't wind up falling off because of him. Very close to the earth tree here. Oh my god, there's so many of them here. Ow. Ow. This is what I was talking about. Dodges and stuff are so risky up here. There was an item over there, right? So. Ow. Yeah, I do actually have one of the the ashes of war that gives makes us do like a strong bow shot i have that it's awesome Please tell me there's a shrine of Mar is that a shrine of Marika? It is a shrine of Marika, right? Yeah, I think this is a boss fight chat. That guy said it's a boss fight and it looks like one. Yeah. So we're, we're out of FP and stuff. This is going to be kind of annoying.
We only we have hardly any flasks. Let's just respawn. And then we'll we'll activate the rune arc. See, we checked for a shrine of Marika outside, so we knew it wouldn't be a big deal if we died. That's what it was doing. Right, this guy's definitely essential. An essential boss, by the way. Oh yeah, that amount of souls doesn't even matter to us anymore. Oh, he goes straight for the jellyfish. How rude. We actually did pretty good on our first attempt there. Our rune arc isn't active now, is it? No. Whoa. No. Let's go. Hell yeah. So much for being an Elden Lord, bruh. Suck it. <laughs> Who's an Elden Lord now, bitch? <laughs> GG. I love that my HP is uh, 
almost at the compass. I think we should maybe go and uh, grind for some souls real quick. Those are really close to leveling up again. Thirty thousand nine hundred. These enemies are so weird. Whoa. This one is freaking does parkour though, it's hilarious. Right, so we got one main story boss down today already, so that's nice. Here we go. I suspect some got some story in common, I bet. Yeah, it is kind of all personal little farm spot right now, that bit. for that trick. I thought it might go up, so I wanted to check if there was a secret passage underneath. <laughs> but it didn't. And then I realized I couldn't see a lever to 
make it return back up. Oh, it's here, look. All right, never mind. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that, mate. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. you come from bro I love the lantern if you can't tell oh Parry guy, I can tell you that already. Or a backstab guy, maybe. Outside of his reach. Oh, we're making good progress now, chat. This is why I use two shields. Sometimes parrying is just the best way to deal with someone. So something uh, worth mentioning is when you play a strength build, right, to use strength weapons, increasing strength also increases your equip load. So, so basically how heavy your equipment can be, which means... You're able to use heavier armor effectively and still be able to roll and stuff, right? But because you're using heavier armor, it also increases your poise. Which means you're less likely to get staggered and have your uh, stance broken. And so that's why the big heavy armored guys we, we don't you can't really stagger them like a lot of attacks don't work on them that's why and against those types of opponents Arian usually works super good to get any parries though. Timing of his attacks is so weird. Oh, 
Fuck it. I'm dead anyway now. Not gonna happen now. I might skip this enemy. Oh, we could kill it, but we're not going to get anything useful for doing it. He's not stopping us from progressing or anything, so. So in this game, like when chat makes suggestions sometimes, because I, I assume from things they've seen other people do, or what they have d tried, like a lot of the time you can't just like randomly try stuff and it be effective, because it totally depends on how the, you respect your character. What's actually going on here? Maybe we will fight him, I don't know. that oh we we're doing so good when he did that spinning attack and he needed to really just dodge but i don't i don't think we have to kill this guy so oh i know chat we should go back to the round table it didn't look like there was anything there did it so Let's go to the round table, talk to the NPC, and then we're going to see if that gate opens for us that we found now. Wait, what does she sell? Hang on. Oh. That's random. That's new. Alright, so it's not that. Let's, uh... Go here. I have a feeling that this is actually what we're supposed to do. Oh. 
Appreciate that, Bevo. Thanks. I find it kind of unlikely that something just magically happens when uh you kill this guy. Maybe. We can try. You see, this is where we were before. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, it's that hand. You can see it from above. This area is so nuts, isn't it? So detailed, so much... So much stuff everywhere. So that's a shortcut now. That we just created. <laughs> you just go left. Right. We're definitely overcomplicating things there. Let's just double check this for an item. Interesting. Hmm. See what that actually does.
Yeah, that's what I thought. You just give that to one of the priests to learn extra incantations, basically. Uh. Oh. Now it makes sense. Now that makes sense. A tree bow. Oh, we only need to level up faith twice to use that. Still don't know if I'll bother because it's not going to increase our effectiveness in a boss fight, is it? <clears throat> oh, this guy's not a joke. That guy was actually really well armored and a lot of HP. <clears throat> Bit of some random enemy standing by the door. Like some important shit's about to happen, chat. I'm just guessing. All right, guys, before I continue, I'm just going to quickly go to the bathroom and grab a fresh coffee. Um, in the meantime, you can check the links in the description for ways to support the content and make sure you go join the Discord so you don't miss out on any future streams at Exclamation Discord or link in the description. Also, if you'd like to support the content for free, don't forget to smash the like button on YouTube. That really helps. It makes it more likely for the stream to be recommended to other people. So go and smash that like button. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, if anyone doesn't know. So if you're watching on YouTube and you're driving watching Twitch, there's a link in the description. And Twitch viewers, if you would like to help the content in a free way, help me out. Do exclamation YouTube in a chat for a link to the YouTube channel. Head over to the YouTube stream and just, if you have a YouTube account, just leave in a like. You don't have to watch the stream over there, but just leave, go and click in the like button and then just go back to watching on Twitch. That's totally fine. That, that helps too. Um, I'll be right back, guys. I'll just be... A minute or two just whilst I go make a coffee and go to the bathroom and then we'll carry on with Elden Ring. Looks like we're making really good story progress today, all right? Be right back, chat. Don't go anywhere.
All right, let's go. Let's end up the earth tree. Uh -huh. A couple of incantations we need to check. This matters. I thought that was going to be something important, but nope. Oh, this is actually the straight up into a, the main boss. It looks like. Let's go. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Bradan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Whoa. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. I'm dead. Actually, not that. No! Let's go. Hell yeah, chat.
Was that first try? Well, I'm against an actual demigod. Was that second try? Holy shit. Second try, right? Still, that's pretty freaking awesome. Look at all the runes we have. That was dope, by the way. So cool. Is this it? The Erd Tree. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the Erd Tree. Wait. Is it not over? Oh. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin. Far uh -huh. above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. So we gotta go to a fiery place which then takes us to the mountains where we fight giants and we get and Melon or whatever her name is, I forgot what Melina is it her name? We'll uh, get an ability. Rolled medallion. That will uh allow us to pass through. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Hell yeah, with chat. Me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. Uh. Ah. Kind of seems like this is probably what we have to do next, right? Surely. Must be. Um, we should go talk to, uh, lady see what happens also see what we can make with this soul well, you managed to return you know what this means the earth tree has burned you the fingers remain still shaken by this turn of events they are 
busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. Hmm. Ooh, it's a dex weapon. Blood loss build up 36. Holy shit, we definitely want both of these. events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever go on finish the job take the course you deem most worthy you must find kindling only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame. And can lead you to the rune of death. You must find only the spots before okay. the flank. Uh, <clears throat> so, sounds interesting, first of all. Um, I'm now wondering, you know, like, for the whole remembrance duplication, if there's a supposed certain audio is kind of supposed to discover the mausoleums in. Well, let's try this one anyway. But there was what there is one with a bell that we haven't knocked down yet. Yeah. Check the other one. But I think we need to go to the one with the bell on it. forget where this path is to the other one. Uh, 
Play it this way. Here somewhere. There it is, I think. That's the way there, somewhere. I'm guessing this one won't work either. It's kind of interesting so far, right? What it seems like is that of all of the, the boss remembrances, That there seems to be at least one for like each kind of typical build type. Yeah. This shit doesn't even like this. Backseater in the chat. Like backseaters are always fucking wrong, first of all. But like. Someone came in the chat saying some shit about how these things work, and they were completely wrong. So, where did I see the other one? There's one that I didn't actually knock down that had a bell on it, and the last one with a bell we could use. Something I sort of forgot actually. Oh shit. Definitely kind of forgot that. I just noticed that there's a seed over here. Fucking. Gotta love it in this game when you just stumble across a boss like this. Kind of awesome. Completely unexpected. Sacrificial axe, nice. We actually need Arcane 17 for this, which I didn't know.
Oh shit, that's so cool. Dude, and this actually causes bleeding as well. Oh, that's just so cool. Right, we're leveling up Arcane. I knew I should have leveled up Arcane, bro. I knew it. I had a feeling there'd be some kind of next weapon that needed Arcane that would be really cool. A lot of the unique stuff in the game requires Arcane. We haven't even been down here. The map in this game is just absolutely bonkers. But we haven't even been in that castle yet either. We need these to actually make more gold pickled bow feet. Which is to be honest. So I kill sheep and stuff, right? To get bones to make bone arrows. So that's basically three arrows. Then I use arrows to kill birds. And we use bird feet to make gold pickled bow feet. Which we use to boost our rune intake to level up quickly. We need to level up to do arcane, don't we? So, <clears throat> right, but this wasn't the spot anyway. So the gold pickle foul feet is three ingredients, and this fruit that's everywhere is one of them. Obviously, one is feet that from birds, like I was just saying, and then. Uh, the other is actually. Fireflies. This guy's deal. It looks like he thinks he's a bad motherfucker.
Oops. Kinda cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Barricade shield. Interesting. Night Rider flail. Ooh. Sounds nasty. That is actually going to be pretty good for building up uh, lead as well, to be honest. Hmm. Wait, I thought that was the bonfire thing then. Alright, it's here. Too much Dark Souls. Thunderbolt. That's pretty insane. What's up, Pickle? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Well, I'll cut my own hair, because, yeah, shaved head's not really that complicated, but, yeah, I got a haircut. What? I took you from that man to lay out your arm. Let's actually head back over here to do some leveling real quick. I want to be able to use this sword from that boss. Then I want to find the other walking mausoleum.
Right. Do this. See fat rolling now. Fix that later. Now, Elden Ring doesn't require a controller. It's just I started playing the game with the controller like I wanted a controller at launch because historically the controller support is pretty bad for the older Souls games that From Software make. So I just assumed they wouldn't be very good either. And, um,. Honestly, I'm seeing mixed impressions about the controller support. So maybe actually, sorry about uh, keyboard and mouse support. So maybe actually keyboard and mouse controls can be good with if you change them all. I don't know, but at least the default keyboard and mouse controls are not very good. But it doesn't require one. And uh, to be honest, like maybe they are actually good. I don't know because I have since a couple of videos or at least one video on YouTube that seemed to be claiming that keyboard and mouse was actually good and there are some people that have always played the Souls games keyboard and mouse but most people agree that for the older Souls games control is the best option um So I, I, I just went with the controller for that reason. Um, but I've, I've also played all the Souls games with a controller because some of them you have to play on console anyway. You know, like Demon Souls and Bloodborne are exclusive for PlayStation anyway. So. And uh, I played Dark Souls 1 and 2 on an Xbox, so... I'm kind of used to. I've played Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 on an Xbox, thinking about it. So, I am actually really used to a controller as well, so for me, you know, it makes sense. But to be honest, like, you might be fine with keyboard and mouse. I actually don't know. I have seen people complain about it. But like I said, I have seen people say that it's fine, so. I don't know who to believe. I, I, I was testing it out, keyboard and mouse. And uh, I actually thought that actually it's not as bad as I thought. It's actually okay. Um, but I'm just more practiced. I'm more used to using the controller for these games. Um... 
and yeah like like i said maybe if someone just figures out a really good way out of keyboard and mouse it could be really good chat slash nick what is the best build for a fast jumping sneaking melee character uh go with uh samurai and then just go for a foot uh, just go put all your skill points into decks basically kind of like i did i really like fast characters like high dps fast characters so that's why i went decks but all the best weapons for what you just said is gonna be it's gonna be a just decks welcome dude what's up jonathan thanks for stopping by i hope you're doing good actually if you really like characters with fast like attacks and dps um there's something completely insane that you can do by going samurai which this is the sword i'm using right now is the sword that you start with as a samurai um but yeah you can actually find it out in the world as well which means that if you go samurai you can actually get jew jewel uchi guitars and you can actually jewel wield them and with the dual wield attack, your blood loss build up and DPS becomes completely insane and it just chews through bosses. So, that actually most likely is the best high DPS thing to go. I'm grinding levels right now because we're only two levels away. Well, one level now. Or no levels now, so about to do it. Uh, from being able to um, use a, a boss weapon, we just don't, we just killed one of the main bosses and got his soul turned into a weapon. We're only one level away from using it, so I'm just doing that. If you like fast stuff in the Souls games, Dex is always the way to go. What I will say with Dex is that. If you go for a dex build, the Uchi Gitana that the Samurai starts with, first of all, I think is the best dex weapon I have found so far. And you can get it right from the beginning. Um, I would just warn us slightly that it is a little um, more difficult to... I would say it requires a little bit more skill and finesse to be good with a dex build, you know, because you got to like time your attacks better and do more dodges and stuff. But with, 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 with uh, eventually you do just like my character now is so OP that it you don't really have to think about it that much. So it becomes just as good as any other build eventually. So it might be a it might be a little bit harder to pull off, but it it's like there's not that much in it to be honest with you, like. For the market speed run that I did, that I posted on YouTube, I went, I went samurai for that and just used one Uchi Gitana. And you can see in that how nuts it is for that, but. If you're gonna dual wield Uchi Gitanas though, don't just, don't forget that you can always ch change to using a shield when you want to, because shields are very, Powerful in this game. Yeah, it is. The second Uchi Gitana is in the catacomb near Warmaster track. I can actually show you where it is if you want.
It is. Wait, let me get my bearings on where we're actually at. So. What is it? So confused looking at it when we've unlocked it all. That's it, isn't it? I think. No, that's it. Death Touch Catacombs, that's it. So. Really close to the start. And, uh. It's actually really close to the start of it. Is your opinion changed on how great the game is? Uh, no. Oh, we didn't level up. No, I think, uh... I... Honestly, right now, I feel like it might be my favorite game. At least for now. I'm showing you where the where the Uchi Gitana spawn is. I've obviously already collected it. This is it. This dead body that I'm standing on right here. Oh. <laughs> That's where it spawns. So yeah, if you just come straight here, you can have two Uchi Gitanas. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. All right, let's test out. Oh yeah, we're fat rolling. That's, oh, we got another talisman pouch anyway. So we can always increase our equipment load. Yeah, so we're actually fine. <laughs> yeah, this is why I was leveling. Bro. So cool. Our character is just so crazy right now. Oh yeah, that's so I wanted to find the other walking mausoleum. But I don't remember where we saw it. The new what? The new sword. It's well, not used it yet, but I think it's going to be sick. Oh no, it's not this place.
I could have sworn it was... Oh no, that's not... Well... Yeah, we came here before, right? Alright, no back seating, because you're almost always wrong. Sorry. Plus, I, don't, I just want to do what I want to do. It's all a process, you know? Like, you're, you're wrong anyway, so. But, um, it doesn't matter. Like, the way I want to play the game is just, I just want to do whatever I want to do in the moment. It doesn't matter if it's all right or wrong. It ruins it. Just just doing what people say, even if it is the right thing, you know? It's because the whole fun of the game is just the process. So there's no disrespect for anything. Just, that's how I want to play. Cause that's fun. That's what the game is. That's also most like what you did too. You didn't have someone ruin it, telling you what you should do every way. It's part of the fun is just exploring, figuring it out, experimenting. But yeah, we, we've done the one you're talking about. Um... Check for... Fireflies. And yeah, like, like, whenever you do listen to Banksy, and it's always a shit show, so I gotta say, like, not very good success rate on Banksy as being uh, accurate. <laughs> I'll never listen to him. So that's why we don't allow it in the chat. I'm trying to remember. Like, we've found four of them. But one of them we've not looked down yet. That's the one I'm looking for. Um, I have to remember like what we were actually doing. This is the place with fireflies anyway.
Yeah, we already used this one. Fireflies. What's up, Dragon Ball? Thanks for stuff. The Dragon Ball, Dragon Born. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. All right, well, that was good anyway. We wanted those. know where it might have been it might have been leaving lucaria because i kind of feel like i saw one and we're in the middle of something else after the last boss oh awesome i'm glad you're liking it bro yeah exactly yeah it's so good so much fun but yeah, and it is challenging. I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. I think this is the place, actually, chat. Maybe. Do you remember going up here? Something. Right, yes. This is where the crazy madness thing was. Because I want, I want the other item. The Margaret Soul. Now you see, we're looking down on the other one from here now. Maybe it actually was around here somewhere. Oh, something I forgot. I need one more. Right, this might be it as well. I remember it's sort of like rainy and grimy. Wait, no, I don't. I'm not sure actually. Oh yeah, maybe it was in here. I 
think it was a little swampish. I think this might be it. This area anyway. No. Is that a mine? <laughs> I, uh, I just recently started using the bow more. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. I think we still are waiting on some smithing stones to upgrade the Uchi again, aren't we? Are we? Can't teleport in here. Yeah. Well, wow, whatever. We'll clear this anyway. Should be higher level ores in this area. I would have thought. Does anyone remember if it was more smithing stone fives? Because I feel like it might have been still. What are we on level 14? Goes up to 15, so it is. Perfect. That's what I thought. You find a mine, guys. Whenever you find a mine, just stop whatever you're doing and clear it and collect every single rock in there. <laughs> Whoa. I might upgrade the boss weapon. I'll most likely only use it for a special attack if it ends up being necessary. We're really deeply invested into the Uchi Gitano right now, so. In order for it to do the most damage on the final boss. Might as well just fully upgrade that. It's usually difficult to f end up fully upgrading. I can't even pull this off without getting stuck. Probably not a good situation for that attack. Oh shit. Stop! No! I 
That wasn't a very good time to experiment with that weapon. <laughs> Crack crystal, I believe, is used for some sort of weapon upgrade, but I actually don't know. Like, I don't use it. I've always assumed, always assumed it's something to do with some kind of magic weapon. This is really the uh, spellcaster's fucking dream fight right here. No, I had the wrong sword on. Oh, again. Even without FP, this attack is insane because of the blood buildup and how it's the AOE of the attack is just kind of nuts. Troll's hammer, nice. God, there's so many like strength weapons in this game. It's insane. Oh, this is gonna be a boss, is it? See how we get on with no FP.
No way! Come on! It's so low. Well, this is why my character build's so OP. Did you see that? Like... No FP even. And then my special attack still destroys because of the DPS and because uh, of bleed. We are primarily here for smithing stones, remember, so we're gonna make sure we don't miss any. We have we don't we're not gonna need any more level five ones though, so we are good now. No, jump. No. Oh, there we go. We got it. Nice. I didn't stop for an FP charge because I knew he was going to be on the edge of bleed. Oh, that's how you get the great club. So basically, this cave is Strandbill's dream. <laughs> Alright, did you? That was worth it. So my, the armor that I'm wearing is a combination of a few different armors. Um, Lionel's helm, and then we've got Albrich's robe and braces, and then just Rail Lucarian Greaves. Oh, we need to go back to the round table, actually. Took you from that match today. Out your own. Okay. I'm going to use Smith and Stone 6 now. What's up, Bagger? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Oh, thanks for banning the bots, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> that trader. No. 
this a level you haven't done? No, we've done this area, but... Somewhere, so there's these things in the game called walking mausoleums, sort of like giant turtles with a church on the back, kind of. And oh, I should have killed those birds. What they allow you to do is. They allow you to duplicate basically boss souls or boss remembrances as they're called in this game. So when you when you kill a boss, you get a remembrance of them. And you can give it to an NPC to turn it into a certain item. Um but you could there's a choice of two different ones. So you have to choose one of two. Um, I think we just found two whole different areas, to be honest with you, chat. But anyway, the walking mausoleums allow you to duplicate the boss remembrance so you can actually make both items. And for once, the boss actually dropped um, the, the, the choices of what, what weapon the boss allows you to make for once are actually useful to Dex's character or to my character. So usually, so far, they've not really been useful to me. These ones are, so I really want to find this walking muscle. Yet yeah, this is like a whole different area I've, I've not even done yet, so... This is definitely get us getting distracted. Can we like activate a sight of grace and come back or something? Yeah, exactly, Bagger, yeah. It's such a cool feature to be able to duplicate them. Really want to buy this game, but money. I hope I can spare some cash next month. Yeah, I hope you manage to get it, dude. I think you will really like it. It's someone that like Demon Souls. Um, there's a few parts that even reminded me of Demon Souls. It's so good. It's my favorite Souls game instantaneously. Like I said. Oh, here we go. There's the Sight of Grace. When I started playing this game, I was like, I think this might be my favorite game ever. But I don't want to say it because it was too early. <laughs> Now I've played it for, I don't know, like 60 hours maybe. Yeah, I love it. Well, that's not the place. Like, something I actually keep even forgetting is that the game is co-op. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could actually co-op with people on the stream for the lols one day. I don't think it was this way. Why did I just run past it? God damn it. I should have marked it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got PvP, like you can do 1v1 PvP, you can do invasions. Holy shit. There's co-op. Uh, that's another golden seed as well, which is a nice find. Can upgrade our flasks again.
Yeah, it is definitely easier. I've not tried it, but supposedly it is easier, yeah. Not only is it easier, um, but when it comes to online stuff, um, like, by default now, you basically have to do something to bait people to invade you as a solo player. I believe solo players don't get... They only get scripted invasions by NPCs, so you won't just get trolled by high-level players anymore when you're playing single-player. Which is a little bit controversial, but I think it is overall probably a sensible move. Well, I believe when you do co-op, like anything goes, like you can be invaded. I think that is how it works. Yeah, we did go with the Cups Brawn. I still have some of them. Um, but yeah, there is also just a way to just do straight up 1v1s as well. What is this? We're just going to end up getting lost into optional content, aren't we? It's an NPC, anyway. Okay. <laughs> kind of weird, dude. Not going to lie. It's a bit... <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, yeah. It, this definitely isn't what we're looking for. <laughs> Oh, where was it? Where the hell was it, dude? I could bring up the stream from yesterday. Now we've got an extra flask we can use. Kind of feel like it seemed like we're on the right track around this area. Oh, I almost died. Oh, this is such an annoying spawn. Um, yeah, we can progress through the rest of the game pretty quick now, I think, chat. What I was going to say. But I just don't want to. Oh, I want to figure this out first. Is this where the giant dragon spawned? We're probably about to find out the answer to that question. Yeah, I think that's a yes. We'll try and fight it, maybe. Ow. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Ow. Okay. Yeah, this isn't what we're looking for either. <laughs> it's just a random giant dragon. Yeah, pretty insane. The last boss we did didn't even do that much damage. <laughs> As in the like, last main story boss we just did earlier. Please let me get them. Please let me get them. All right, we're gonna. Uh... Right, let's just run away. I'm trying to figure out. We're finding this walking mausoleum chat. Yeah, yeah, we killed that boss, yeah. We actually have the dragon's head. 
as well. Oh yeah, this isn't the area. I kind of feel like it makes sense that we would have encountered this after killing the Lunar Princess. Right? Is that area maybe accessible? All right, let's let's check this out first. We also have two great runes we've not figured out how to activate. Yeah, we still can't use this. What's up, Mehmet? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Is this your double sword character or a new one? Uh, it's the same one, but we stopped using double sword and went to Katana instead. Him oh, wait. Hang on. Is that where you get teleported to when you go through the portal? Because we do go through a portal. Right, it is. Let's try and just go along the path that we would have gone on. Was this even open before? I don't think it was. It, it can't have been. Again, we're about to find somewhere new, aren't we? Grand Lift of Dectus. come back here later <clears throat> this is all like kind of end game shit i think um it's still not what we're looking for
Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Sounds good. Let's buy all those as well. What can we craft that's new? That's this place. Like, I either feel like it's got to be around the path in this biome or it is actually right near the start and it's something that we skipped and came back to yeah, I could have sworn it was this area but Could be up here if we came and collected that. another one of these guys what well the ow the enemies he summons have been uh, stepped up a little bit to say the least This Mariner guy, Tibia Mania, Mariner, it's this ghost guy that summons undead enemies. Let's go. Tibia's summons. Interesting. He does have a huge friend now. <laughs> That's true. Wow. 
Well, I don't know what number of bosses that we've killed, but definitely lost count by this point. What is this? This, this game guy. <laughs> you go looking for something and then it's just crazy content after crazy content crazy content 12 hours later Ooh. we just got an ash of war for bow and arrow or barrage oh we actually don't have enough stats to use this without a rune arc active interestingly enough but that doesn't matter oh. wait don't tell me We've actually found the entrance to the mountain area accidentally. I think we may have. What's this, bro? Pretty dark. Put the lantern on for this. This is why I said, like, I'm not rushing it. <laughs> this game, and why I'm just going to do whatever I want. It's so fun just randomly doing shit like this. This is why I have a random poison resistance spell. Oh God. Jesus, like one of the more powerful enemies ever. This place is pretty grim. Well, this is YOLO. We know what happens, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all this shit, and then there's a boss. Okay, let's just cut to the chase game. Show me the boss. That rune arc. Oh, golden rune.
Oh, Christ. Got this running on the TV behind me. Your melee swings sound like my blast furnace cooking or and mob roars make me think a troll is heading behind me. <laughs> nice. Alright, it's kinda of seems like a trap, not gonna lie. Bad for the worst. Oops, don't fall all the way. No. <laughs> Didn't want to fall all the way there. That's fine. Is it always a rat? Oh, lots of runes. This biome is very clear about making you level up. Yeah, here we go. This is what I thought. Oh no, I hate these enemies. How long we got to see it? Oh fuck, that's why I hate them. Leave the jellyfish alone. Hell yeah. I'm glad that wasn't too hard because these enemies are so toxic usually. <laughs> okay. Poisoning or rot in vicinity increases attack power. Whoa. That's the kind of thing you just chalk on if you end up in one of these annoying. Well, there's a couple of boss fights. That, well, there's at least one I can think of where there was like stuff causing rot everywhere. Be worth throwing that on for that, for sure. No way. I can't remember what these were called. Oh, no, 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 don't get cursed. These enemies are basically in like every Souls game. I can't believe they made it into this. I can't remember what they're called.
Okay, sight of grace. The area is insane, by the way. That is how you reveal the map, is to go into those things. I'll have to smart. Not quite level up yet. What type of enemy do you hate most in the game? Dogs, rats, biting people. <laughs> um, there's a type of enemy in the game relatively early on that's really annoying for how early on it is that just looks like an ordinary night enemy. Um... But it casts this insane, insanely overpowered spell, and you get you can get them in like groups of four and stuff. Like it's just so OP. I felt at the time. Those were annoying. I don't know if I missed the map fragment or it's actually just above us. Seems like it's probably just above us, honestly. By the this point at this level, it doesn't doesn't even really matter what we level up. Level 79, so I think I'm just gonna spec for using that boss weapon. Like, by this point, guys, we might end up just finding another walking mausoleum. Like, I, I don't know what happened to the one that I saw. Myth in Stone 1? Are you fucking trolling me, game? Oh, this looks like a boss arena. Ow. We've fought one of these before. So annoying. There's so fun there. I think so. I couldn't get the crit. Ow. Ow. The fuck, he just teleported.
There's a fact that they do is the worst. Gotta be about to get a bleed now. Has to be. How is he not bleeding yet? I guess I'll use another Cerulean Blast then. Wait, champ. Yeah, I've never actually... I guess it's the first time I've accidentally wandered off. Wait, that said a new Dragonic Power is available. Oh shit, I didn't realize the roll for fire a little bit with Torrent. Guess it makes sense though. He is hurting his feet. <laughs> but he's a good horse. He'll take it. He understands the greed. I can't believe we've found like a whole new segment of the map. What? If we fight this one, do we have to fight the bosses and shit? Oh, wait. Is the giant the boss? Yes. No, what? Oh, I got... I got robbed off a crit then.
Yeah, I know it's wrong. Doesn't really matter that much though. We bleed like it's not really even that important. This sorcerer can go fucking suck a dick though. Getting this one. Oh, that's cool. Memory stones allow you to learn an additional spell. How many flipping bosses are we doing today? How, this is going to lead to like something crazy. There's something green behind you. That'll be fine. Their grace. Hell yeah, John. Is that a vampire? No. Ow.
Alright, we can come back and do all this properly, but I'm just trying to freaking... Find some useful stuff real quick. Okay, volcano cave. Interesting. Thanks, Kit. I appreciate that, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one, dude. Is this thing? <laughs> Ow. I'm dead, I think. Yeah. Crazy. Right, I'll be right back for a sec. I think we do this with no summon so we get more attacks in with FP. Oh. 
was a good decision. Put the boss down. Well, this ain't what we're looking for, is it? I think if we go here and head west, maybe. Oh no, this is this place. It's brand new. Justin. Yeah, we can look at the last stream. I'm not too bothered though, but I'm having fun doing content. Interesting. What's up, Christian? Uh oh. Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. I hope you're doing good.
right, so we leveled up our flasks a bit again. Oh, awesome. I've been enjoying the game, dude. actually survive that if you go down to the side This might be it. I don't know why you just did that. You, you, that's not helpful. You just ruined it. How many times I have to say I don't want people to tell me what to do in the chat. Thanks, Christian. I appreciate that. I consider that a warning for backseating. You want to avoid being banned in the future, just uh, do exclamation rules in the chat and read those. Make sure you don't break them.
Yeah, I'm really happy with how my character has turned out in general. It's been awesome. Whoa. Okay, I appreciate that pickle. gonna go all around the edge uh, we did check on the edge of this place because that's what i thought as well i guess we missed it Yeah. I remember now, actually. We're trying to get on top of that mountain. Whoa. First stutter I've seen in a while. It's a really weird sound effect it's making. Don't do lol. Yeah, this is the area. I'm sure of it. This is exactly what it looked like. Wait, no. This is this bit. this Yeah, this area was awesome. I actually forgot about this. Wasn't there another portal we could do?
Oh, in fact, yeah, it requires imbued gold keys, which we don't have. Like, there's also something else to figure out in this area anyway that we might find if we explore it more which is that um we clearly need some kind of item to unlock the tower the top of the tower which will lead us to the tower to activate the great room for the lunar boss that we did. Is this the area maybe? Yeah, this is it. As I said, it looked exactly like this. All right. Wait, I, I don't even... This one doesn't appear to have... First of all, let's mark this location. This one doesn't appear to have any... Uh... Goals to break on its feet.
Yeah, I'm assuming that there's something that you can maybe break that's higher up it. down loud. Goals that you normally use to break them. I'm not present on this guy. jumping but cliff is that real though you actually supposed you can't surely oh he's walking over here actually you actually do jump on top of this one there i hate it that these stairways are one way by the way i absolutely hate it all right let's go this way then By the way, just saying that I, I, I came to this <laughs> exact spot several times, didn't I? If I just went left. So do we just have to wait then? Jump. They looked like it was close enough to actually make it on this one. Pretty interesting if that's the case, chat. getting pretty close.
actually seems to be going towards these steps even, doesn't he? <laughs> That's blood stain. It's so cool that like some of the optional stuff you know involves like doing cool like environmental stuff in the areas, you know. I mean, that's now pretty close. We're starting to turn around, it looks like. So it's probably time. No, oh, I'm dead. We can't make that. I think it's too far. The annoying thing is... Now he'll respawn on the complete opposite side. So I hope this isn't it, because it's going to be annoying to wait every time. Yeah, we, we can always try uh, moving down, can't we? It's actually kind of weird. It looks like this is actually where you're supposed to do it in a way. This is probably about right. I don't know if you'll quite be able to make it. Maybe just see if it gets even closer. Wait, is he already turned around? That no, is going this way. I suppose we could always wait and just see what actually happens. You know, you might just get to the end and stay here. It's like he's turning around to me now. Hopefully he does, he definitely must come closer than that. He sure was closer than that before. He's clangers. What's up Richard? Thanks for talking about it. I hope you're doing good dude. is coming. Right, I don't think he was turning around when I kind of panicked and jumped then. It looks like he they, he just takes a bit of a weird path. Because he sort of just made a right turn then, didn't he? 
and now he's doing a left turn. So he probably just does just come close. I mean, that didn't even seem like it should be too far. It seemed like you're not supposed to do it. Fuck's sake. I hate this. I hate shit like this. Oh, I think maybe we, uh, I guess this time we just have to wait and just see what happens. Or maybe we can go slightly further down. I'm not even sure we'd even make the jump if we go much further down. What the fuck, game? Jesus. I didn't want to do that. I think I might just do it on foot. Just to play it safe. It can be tricky sometimes. But they're definitely a little easier on foot sometimes. What level? I don't know, like 70 something? 80 now? After we've done this chat, we're going to be go back to progressing the story. Oh, 
like this one. Okay, this one actually has six appraisals, so maybe it's this one. See do whilst we wait. <laughs> Craft stuff. My God, I, I hate this. This is dumb. This is so dumb that you have to wait all this time every single time. It's actually fucking dumb. That's the first thing in the game that is like terrible game design. I think this is one of the best games I've ever played. For sure. If not even the best. Like I fucking love this game. But that is fucking terrible. I fucking get baby does game design. It's, it's so that's so bad. It's unbelievable. It's the first thing I think in the game I found that was like actually just seems bad. I think it might be the right height, but it looks like you have to wait even longer. So let's just do that. It's really interesting that I will have to sort out my chest items and stuff at some point. Uh, some of the craftable items in the game are actually just so interesting. Oh, look, this is what you can use that cracked crystal for. That's wild. We can have a shitload of them then. Oh, 
Looks like she might be worth using so, so many. They respawn. So. Huh. That, I think, is actually an insane recipe to find. I don't know which book I got it out of. We should experiment with those, though, for sure. Right, at this point, I feel like it's kind of worth just sitting here and seeing what actually happens when he gets all the way to the end and seeing if he ever does turn around or anything. Wait, hang on a second. Okay. All right, now it makes sense. But <laughs> still very, very bad design that. Because you still kinda have to wait, right? We figured it out. Finally, like that was actually cool that you actually had to shoot them off. I'm just not a fan that you kind of wind up having to wait so long for it to get close, you know? It's the Omen King, isn't it? Right. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is. I imagine if I select the wrong one. Hell yeah, finally. Right, progress. Well, at least we actually have killed a load of bosses from figuring this out, so. Alright, cool. We need 5,000 souls, though, which I'm sure we actually have in our inventory. So it says, uses FP to unleash many wraiths that chase down foes. How could I not buy that? I imagine, imagine not, not buying that. All right, let's just go test this out. I wanna see what the hell this does. Sounds sick. Is 
it a weapon? Is it... Looks like it actually might be an item, which is pretty sick of it. Like a tool or whatever you call it. Yeah, it is. Bro. I'm actually excited to see what this does. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Come here, sheep. <laughs> that is so crazy. That was worth it. That was worth it. God. Yes. Now we don't quite have the skills to use this, but Oh, actually, let's just do it two handed. Well then. So this causes bleed as well, apparently. So this is the sword. Looks completely insane. Flips through my helmet annoyingly, but it looks insane. <laughs> um... And yeah, and that crazy ability is uh Well I kinda do wanna use all these all this stuff here. I actually don't like filling my quick bar that much. Just realize these runes are here because I didn't even know that these have runes in it at this point in the game. Yeah, yeah, we did it. So yeah, like this crazy sword that has this insane weapon art. Oh, we're out of something I'm, I'm actually considering now, chat. I might change my flasks. We have more flasks anyway. So I might actually go for four cerulean flasks. Because we're using a lot more FP now. But yeah, the, so the reason that we wanted to duplicate that remembrance is to get this insane sword with this mental attack pack. It actually has two stages as well if you spam it. On this. So definitely no regrets. Because those are fucking sick. <laughs> it's cool, right? Fish. All right. So now to continue my theories on what we actually have to do next in the story. I want to check if this gate is open now. Uh, I'm level 80. Um, I don't really know what damage wise what they do because we've not used them in battle yet.
Oh my god, like it is so insane like how cool your character ends up being. Yeah, I don't I think yeah, we so I'm pretty sure What we're actually supposed to do next. Is this biome. So why does. Why is the grace seems to be telling us to go to multiple different locations. How fast did you Margaret? What now? I don't know. I will be doing some more market speedruns just for the lols at some point soon. I say we just follow every grace and, and uh... think yeah I really want to get into these dragon sorceries maybe on a different playthrough anyway I think what we should do is we just follow where the grace oh dragon apostles cookbook all right whatever let me see if I can quickly Wish it was more co-op. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't messed with the co-op too much. Um, raw meat and dumpling. So there is... Something that, in, that restores your HP that you can craft. Nah, that item's too good. Too funny. It's a meme. But it's too funny. Um, we finally kind of filled my character up. So that's what I'm doing this is... Can we... Wait, so can you actually only carry 40 of those darts? Is that what it's telling me? Alright, whatever. I say we follow these, these, uh... Lights of Grace. And just whatever it leads to we do it where if it's optional it's optional doesn't matter I'm, I'm down to kill anything but I, I would like to try and progress through the story some more before the end of the stream so I'm making really good progress now finally thanks
Fire of Grace. <laughs> yeah, true. True. I wonder, do we, I mean, we have to do this. It's probably going to take me somewhere completely unrelated, but we have to do it. Oh, no, it didn't. We're here. Nice. What sight of grace? Perfect. Hell yeah, a portal that didn't screw us over. Get ready for dying. Well, that's every boss. Pretty much for you. Hmm. As a fellow combatant, allow me to introduce myself. Blythe. Warrior. Now, we find ourselves pitted against Radan. Once the strongest of the demigods, the way ahead is pleasingly simple. A path forged by sword and fang. Hmm. Nothing to do but wait until the festival begins. <laughs> True. Champions, welcome. The stars are aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat no, I've not already general, done this. Claim glory and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radan Festival. This is sick. This is sick. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. So this is what he was talking about. Do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think I could face a great champion of the Shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But I don't think so. The fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, I, I know, it's hard to remember with so many bosses, but I don't think so. Flinchingly brave this ordeal. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. Oh, this is sick. General Radan <laughs> I wish I was Tony. It'd be hilarious. I was saying to someone just the other day. Scarlet rot. 
Oh, let me watch this. I'll tell you in a sec. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, uh. <laughs> the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radan Festival. Yeah, I was saying that, you know, you know, apparently George R. R. Martin had something to do with this game a little bit, right? I was like, can you imagine like George R. R. Martin's impression just like, of, like talking to Miyazaki and they're like, you know, <laughs> probably that, that's a good example. But yeah, so we've got this character. It's just like a giant plant pot. <laughs> like, Wait, hold up. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you imagine? Well, what? Oh, like what did he actually think? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, give the pot arms and they're gonna talk to the boy itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah. Oh, that's kinda hard to dodge, actually. Seems about right. All right, relax, relax, chat, relax, chat. Come on. <laughs> Any more back seats or the spanner? Okay, relax. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it now for he gets out of hand.
cá Wow, this is so awesome Definitely gonna need more flasks. Thanks for the sub, Oscar. Appreciate that. Well, actually, let's just try again. We just we wasted a lot of flasks. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. No, I'd have to think about it. I, I do, uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think the game has seems to have more magic users in general. So yeah, probably yeah. It's almost like every character seems to use more magic than it used to. You know what I mean? Um, di all different kinds of magic seem more common in general. Doing too bad.
Yeah, a lot, uh, some, magic users can definitely be frustrating. But just like any soul games, you can kind of can spec your characters around it if you really want to, I guess. But oh, first time playing, like when you beat certain NPCs and bosses and stuff, it is can be pretty frustrating. At to its damage at this phase now. I do think we could re allocate plus. to it in time. This is a fucking amazing boss fight. Really. Yeah, that's a time it would have been good to try and use the heal spell or something. But yeah, let's just reallocate for more flasks. This boss fight. Fucking amazing. This is crazy. So crazy. Maybe we try two. So it's kind of interesting because we're not really because we're not getting to do our summon. We're not using as much FP as usual. Champions, welcome. <laughs> the Same man of war. The festival is nigh. General Radon, my dear demigod. Of the shattering awaits you. Wait. Huh? Great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Fest. Uh, the festival. Okay. <laughs> Before we begin. But now. Oh, get the cell. Weird champ. Yep. Oh, 
boss I remember. Damage from that? I was in the right spot at all then. I messed up. I'm not gonna make it round in time, so we just go for bleed instead. I think I just need to pre-heal here. Yeah, for sure. Oops. No. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. I fucked up a couple of times there. What's my favorite boss? I know this might be it. It's so cool. Nah, it's not the final boss. Oh, I don't know if I should just. I guess we eat that one. It is what it is. Oh, we blocked it. Nice. Yeah, I made the same mistake again. Twice in a row.
No, quick. Let's go, dude. Fuck yeah. That was so sick. That was so sick. G freaking G chat. That was so epic. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? We just set off a nuke. Oh, you just missed it, Bago. Literally, just seconds ago. Holy shit. Um, that was so crazy. I might see my adrenaline still going after that. That was sick. They ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> what a sick way to fight, eh, mate? The glory of the class is shared. This character's yeah. so cool. And you, and then a falling star, right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something. Oh, it's a falling star. He was a living legend. If ever I saw one. Well, it's time I left. The wheel of fate has been set into motion. If it's on the cards, I'd be glad to meet again. You are a fine warrior. Hell yeah, dude. If it's I did the all cards, the work, so. You are a fine. I hope that, that's what I hope you'd say. We only actually need 9k, actually, don't we? Yeah, we got 70k runes from that. Pretty close. Get a few extra runes. If we can get to the point where we can uh, wield that sword effectively, it'd be kind of nice to be able to just whip out the weapon art for it occasionally just for the lulls I mean we definitely don't need to skill anything up to actually be able to kill bosses at this point our character is OP now <laughs> so be a nice cool alternate way to attack We are fat rolling. I'll have to address that in a sec. Why are we? Oh. Oh, wait. It was actually changed. Why are we fat rolling now? Is it this? 
That not affect your equipment mode, can it? I don't know, dude. Worry about it later. We can definitely get it so we don't fat roll. I'm just grinding for a few extra souls. So we can't wield that effectively because we're not killed up for it. So that would be why it's doing such little damage. We're just really close to having enough souls to level up one more time, so I just wanted to top it off. Okay, yeah, see, we don't have fat a fat roll now. Wonder if it yeah, it's the scarab. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But that we're, we're so on the edge. The one extra weight on the scarab, I guess it's a heavy talisman. Alright, we're Gucci then. Keep my flasks again. I do like having some extra flasks. Right. Now let's see what the remembrance of that boss gives us. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if this boss also gives something useful for a dex build. Because it probably won't. Yeah, some crazy colossal sword. And a great bow. Which I'm sure is good. If you want to use bows, it's probably really good. But I'm not interested. So we use his soul instead. See what we get out of it. 40k.
Noise. Wait, I didn't even use a runok for that fight. I just realized. <laughs> all right, pretty funny. Um. All right. So she doesn't care that we just did this. Um, so next I kind of want to go back and see what the NPCs have to say if, if they're still there in this castle that we're in. A good way to figure out or just decide what you want to do next in these games is like once you've killed a boss, go and talk to any NPCs that you remember where they are. Do we still have a pickled Balfour active? Wait, we didn't activate one. Oh, it's from consuming the boss soul as well. That's interesting. So you can really power level potentially. Maybe we should be power leveling. How, we don't know how much it's increasing. I'm thinking. Right. Real quick. If we've got... If that potentially gives us a third buff, if we can actually have three buffs, we should actually use all of them for buffs on Rune Gathering. If this is actually going to last a while. Oh, it's worn off already. Wait, so what is that buff from? Is it actually just from being in this area? Because if if we have an additional buff, I don't know where that came from, chat. It must have been from using the soul. All right, we we could have done some in, insane strat to get a fuckload of souls just then, but never mind. <laughs> Look, this is the guy whose helmet we have. It's his ghost. Yeah, it must have been. It must have been. But it's weird because it seemed to not last very long. But like the gold pickled foul fort. Where, like, it wears off when you fast travel instantaneously. So it can't have been because I fast traveled. So it must just not last that long. If we end up using another boss soul, we'll have to be ready to grind for souls and see how long it lasts. Alright, whatever. Let the. The grace also tells us to go this way, so let's do that. Oh.
Okay. God, the glare is brutal on that. Alright, weird champ. Whatever game, let's go this way. Kind of going the wrong way here. Last time we went to Beastial Sanctum, the guys aggroed on us, and I assumed it was because I used an attack maybe that isn't why maybe we actually have to do that we never actually cleared this place can do that We basically just have to just work on everything we find in this area now pretty much I would say quite see that the other one was actually mounting me then. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. What? I, I can't see it here. Pretty much just guarantee this running in and only just spamming the usual attack is got it's gonna make it easy peasy. Yeah, I did notice on it was on a tiny horse though. 
is funny. I'm just going to do some ranged attacks. I don't think so. Fuck off. I haven't really been stuck on them for 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, the spinning slash is so good. I definitely would like to do a playthrough with the... Uh
Yule Katana's though. Yeah, shield's super important for certain scenarios. I played Jewel Scimitar for the first several hours of the playthrough, like quite a lot of the playthrough. And it, I, I absolutely like was tearing through so many scenarios in the early game. But then when I started find things a little bit challenging I kind of realized how important it is to at least be able to temporarily switch to a shield so I went from dual wielding scimitars to Uchi Gitana and actually two shields one with no skill which is this one so I always have on so this allows me left trigger to do my spin attack but it, I can still just randomly be holding left trigger during a boss fight or something uh, sorry L1 which is super important um, and then I can change to this one when you have an enemy with really high poise so they can actually parry it Oh, nice, Dragonborn. Actually, it just reminded me we got a new Ash of War for the bow that I wanted to look at just out of curiosity. Yeah, well, that's probably why we found that boss a lot harder than me then. Like, as long as you have a shield with 100% physical, it doesn't matter if it completely drains your stamina when you take a hit. You can recharge it so quickly if you just let go. So it's just all about timing. And it just ends up being so much more beneficial. Um, it depends on the situation. Because dual wield is really good. And dual katana is obviously completely insane. But if there's a boss fight that's melee attacks are actually wiping you out. I definitely recommend experimenting with for using a shield. Even if it's just for a certain phase or something. Um, but I would want to dual wield though most of the time when if I had dual katana as well because the bleed is going to be fucking nuts but it's just certain scenarios certain kind of attacks like like you know like here's an example this is not an enemy that's particular particular problem or anything it's just first thing I can actually think of off the top of my head but um Well, they actually, but you same applies to magic attacks too. Um, but 
feel like I'm trying to juggle that tenor too much. Do I really even need to bind a flask of physics? Definitely don't need to necessarily bind the lantern, but I do use it all the time. Where do I get that fit? This cloak is uh, an outfit that you get. Um, in the city, it's, it's there, I think. I think that's it. It's in a room in the city anyway. Looks like a big sort of conference room. Welcome. annoying spot. Yeah, something that I will say about shields is like, I don't know, I feel like they're so much more powerful in this game than in any Souls game in my memory. This is so weird. <laughs> Afternoon, Sharky. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I agree, Troglodyte. Dog. Yeah. It it's interesting because because the builds potentials are so insane because of new mechanics and stuff uh, 
and it it kind of feels to me that thanks a lot for the follow ropes here appreciate that um it feels to me you know like in all the souls games right yeah, I felt a similar way about Dark Souls 3. It was great, but I did feel like it was the easiest. It's actually where I'd recommend a lot of people to start if they want an easier game. But, like, they, it, you know, like, in all the Souls games, right? If you're struggling with a boss... Um... you've always been able to go away and try and become more powerful right but it's always it feels like it's always been much more subtle than this you know what i mean now it, it feels like the exploration elements of it like when you go and explore it feels like you just go and do some exploring and all of a sudden you're like become insane for the area you're at and more to the point is that you know like all the older souls games you you can not level up and still do all right a lot of the time and and leveling up is just sort of going to help you out you know what i mean and it feels like a very gradual improvement as you spec your character. In this one, it feels a lot more drastic. And it reminds me much more of, you know, like in a classic RPG game. You know, if you skip ahead to, to, to the late game, you just get wrecked. And it's just because how the game works, it's just all just numbers, right? It's all just numbers. It's like you, you just need... The, the, the way there's a hard lock is you got to go grind for XP and then once you get to level whatever it is 35 that area is fine you know what I'm saying and that's a way of sort of gating it off I actually feel for the first time like that this is a Souls game that feels that same way kind of because I have been through what everyone's been through as well in my journey with this game and I was fucking slaying it for ages and then I was struggling for a bit. Um and like I've kind of by the way this area is sick. <laughs> um Ow, holy shit, does the regular enemy did that much damage? Alright. Um And what what I will say is uh like it made me have the perspective of like, yeah, I think this is a harder Souls game. But after spending some time specking up my character, just like you would if I, or I would, like if I was playing Final Fantasy or something, like you just go and level up, basically. When I come back, actually, some of those moments were like surprisingly easy after working on my character a little bit. And I feel like it's that... Um, oh, we just equip the wrong thing um oh my god i'm getting slayed while stalking through this bit but um what was i saying yeah i, I feel i just feel like yeah that was, that was that's what i was saying it's like, it was actually surprisingly easy um Once I went away and leveled up. Alright, no backseating. Sorry, I have to say that again. No, there's no backseating. Alright, you'll, you'll just end up getting banned. I'm sorry. No exceptions. Don't want to have to warn anyone again. Do 
This is cool anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the story. Is okay. <laughs> that's the story as all the time with the Souls games. Like, knowing the order is pretty funny. The Ray Lucario Academy. Um, it is like over here. Not really the ideal place to find. Bye. Are you at? Is it? Are you at the point where you're looking for the key? Is that what you're looking for, Juan? Because <clears throat> I actually was stuck on that for a little bit. What? It just tells you to go to the Erd tree after that. You just want to head towards the Erd tree.
supplies. Let's keep going. The, it should... So, the, go back through the portal that allows you entrance. And it should bring you out here. Israel Akaria Gate. And then it's just a straight line to the area with the earth tree then. Controller finally died. One second. Yeah. I'm going to be dead now. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. Yeah, th there's that weird moment when you first go through the portal and there's like multiple places you can go that one of them is another portal. And that takes you where you need to go. I think, uh, I just realized, holy shit, we've gone way over time for this stream. This is like around the time I wanted to start the Valheim stream, but I haven't even eaten yet, and I'm still playing. <laughs> but do I want to stop playing?
<laughs> I'm actually hungry. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of tempted to just cancel the Elden Ring stream. Sorry, the Valheim stream for tonight. And just eat some food on stream. And just do a long Elden Ring session. Because I feel... No. I feel like we're kind of smashing it through the game right now. I actually will ban you for real if you actually do this again, Crocodoc. I told you no exceptions. I I'm not I'm not fucking around. I'm telling you. You're banned next time you do it. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to ban you. I've been thinking about it. Just done it so much that it's been annoying. But you can still watch the stream. Wait, why? What's going on with my mouse? Huh? What's going on with my stream PC? Anyone that just ends up getting under my skin a little bit by breaking rules several times, they've just already ruined it. Even if you let them, even if you go easy on them, they've already kind of ruined the energy. So it's not, you know, you keep them around, that's all you're going to fucking think about now. I can't have it in the chat, sorry. It ruins the content. Nothing personal though. Oh my god, I'm jumping over it now.
Oh, God. Still got that annoying. It's always kind of weird when games aren't platformers and they make you do platforming. Because we didn't have the lantern on, that's why I chat. Some people just can't resist backseating no matter what, unfortunately, but, you know, that's on them. And they always think they're the exception, but that is what, exactly what I don't want people like that. <laughs> God damn it. Right, I need to eat anyway, so I kind of need to decide what I'm doing. What's up, Cloaky? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Yeah. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Kind of just need to eat. We kind of, I've just randomly got sucked into this game for like seven hours. Um. I should just do the, we should just do the Valheim stream. So I'll, I'll wrap up shortly. I'll wrap it up and I'll get some food and I'll do a Valheim stream, even if it's a short one. I myself, are you safe recording dad jokes? Yeah, of course. If anyone's curious, just read about like what you'll get banned for, like instantaneously for life because it really doesn't matter whether you can take part in my Twitch channels. I have totally been my rights to do that. Uh, but if you're curious about what you like, people get banned for, just or how to be the most respectful you can be in the chat, the kind of person in the chat I actually want, then. Just read the rules in the description. Um, or you can get a link by doing exclamation rules. Right, I actually am going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. It's half past eight, kind of running out of time. Can always stream a little bit later. It's okay for the Valheim stream to be shorter, but that wasn't what the plan was. But we can always stream a little bit longer, I guess, as well. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm too hungry. I'm too hungry. I need to eat. That's why I'm playing shit, I think. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna wrap up the Elden Ring part of the stream. Um, yeah, it's all good, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the Elden Ring part of the stream. I'm not thinking straight right now. I'm just really hungry, I guess. I didn't even notice how hungry I was. Um, and then I'll go eat. I, I don't know when I'll be back live again. I've kind of messed all this up. We've gone way over. I didn't realize we've been going for over seven hours. We've just been smashing it today. But I'll go get some food, however long that takes, and then I'll set the stream back up again. And we'll continue with Mountain Caves. 
uh, in Valheim. All right. Uh, we're making really good progress in the mountain caves thing as well. So it's going to be fun. Um, try and make some more of the new armor. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, it, it's actually been super fun. Like, I've absolutely loved this stream. Um, it's been so cool to, to smash through several bosses. It's been an awesome stream. I think ha we've killed so, we've killed so many bosses from the story and side bosses today. How many bosses did we even kill today? Including side bosses. It was a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was awesome. But thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you would like to support the content, like the reason I'm able to put so much time and effort into the videos and live streams is because of the final financial support of our community. Um, that's the only reason I'm able to do this. It's my only source of income. So if you would like to keep the dream alive for me being able to make uh, content for you guys, um, then the best way you can do that is on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do a monthly donation, sort of like a Twitch sub, except you can do it for any amount of money, even as little as $1. And how it works is, for example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you'll donate $1 to me right now, and then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month and then onwards um, until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join a private Valheim server that I pay for that runs 24 seven and you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams. Um, again, there's a link in the description to the Patreon or you can do exclamation Patreon in the chat. Um, you can also support the content by doing regular donations. There's a link in the description to that as well, or you can do exclamation donate in the chat. And donations are the best way for you to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. And last but not least, you can support the content over on YouTube by doing super chats during the live streams or by clicking the join button below the stream and becoming a YouTube member. And members get access to the monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. There's a link in the description to that as well. Or do exclamation Discord in the chat. I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time as well. So if you watch on YouTube and you'd rather watch on Twitch, there's a link in the description for that. And don't forget to leave a like and a nice positive comment if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe for future content. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Pistachio, Bevo, Koki, Ropesy, Man of War, VK. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later tonight some more Valheim I don't know if it's going to be a long stream or not to be honest I've kind of really gone over on this one but we'll do the stream and see how we get on we might be able to go late but who knows um but see you later guys thanks for watching see you soon